verification of kvl in the practically how to do conduct experiment in this video we will discuss kvl verification already in the video lo how to verify the kvl law for that uh, theoretically how to calculate already explained in one video that is given in link in description now practically how to verify the kvl we will discuss in this video before conducting the experiment probe is connected to v ohm plus is minus is connected to common now we are measuring the resistances by using multimeter multimeter terminal is kept under kilo ohm after that we connected if you connect by body but resistance value may be changes one or two percent we can connect directly the voltage the resistance of now value is 330 ohm i think it will go now you can see by connecting probe connect correctly we can measure by using uh, it is now it shows if the probes are loose then it is 330 ohm by color coding also you can measure the resistance by theoretically 330 ohm resistance it is after that we measured so many resistances which are connected to verify kvl now we connected another resistance another resistance is uh, 140 98 ohm that means 100 ohm it is 100 ohm 100 ohm is connected 100 ohm it is 200 ohm the multimeter is changed 100 ohm you are measuring the resistance now another now it is a bedboard connected to resistances or my inductors whatever it is you connected bedboard it is all these are connected in parallel and these straight lines and down lines are down arrow like that down arrow these are connected in series and down one is ground now we connected one 330 ohm resistance like this after that it is a connected to ground and this is connected to another connection like that uh, we can connect the resistance is connected to bedboard it is a common terminal common terminal three resistances we joined and bedboard is connected to another now we are verifying the kvl by connecting all the resistances in series also we can connect the way simply way how to verify the kvl by connecting all the resistances in series and we are applying some voltage Now the RPS positive terminal that is plus terminal is connected to bedboard the supply what we required 5 volts or 10 volts or 20 volts that is connected to one resistance that is series terminal that means uh, if you connect like this it is series and we have to give accurately the wire is twisted now we are connected accurately now it is not uh, like that this position we have to alter now if you connect like this it is connected the unknown voltage are plus 5 is connected to 330 ohm resistance after that the negative terminal will be connected the negative of the supply is connected to another terminal the rps negative is connected to another terminal that is 100 ohms 100 ohms in series connection column low connectors now column the column we are connected this 100 volts here we have to connect 100 volts 100 volts will be connected there like that in series we have to connect then we are connecting unknown voltage so series connection of three resistances now we are calculating or verifying the kvl the voltage drop across all resistances will be verified now switch on the supply after that we are calculating whole supply for these resistances this is 100 120 and 270 ohms now we are given 5 volts whatever be the input voltage the total voltage drop is equal to zero or the input voltage is equal to total voltage drop that is kvl 
now we are measuring we are connected three resistances in series and the current throw in series is 10.06 amps now we are measuring the voltage drop across each resistance first we go for 100 ohms resistance the voltage drop is 1.03 is the voltage drop across 100 ohms resistance r1 and another resistance voltage drop is 1.26 another voltage voltage another resistor voltage drop is 2.82 now the if you add all the voltage drops that equal to 5 volts or 5.1 volts or we can say that the total algebraic voltage equal to 0 5 minus the total voltage drops gives 0 that is verification of kv how to connect uh, this resistors these are in these are in series these are in parallel now we connected 100 ohm resistance to this this hole after that uh, it is a connected series this line is connected series it is 100 ohm resistance it is 120 ohm resistance is connected after that it is a two, seven, 270 ohm resistance is connected in series with this after that minus is connected to 270 ohm plus is connected through ammeter we connected plus now the current for this circuit is 10 milliamps 10.6 milliamps you can calculate the voltage drop across each resistance if you know the resistance 100 into 10, 10 milliamps gives voltage drop across this one. That voltage gives, if you measure, if you connect voltmeter, it gives 1.03 volts. 1.03 volts is the voltage drop across 100 ohms resistance. It is 120 ohm resistance. The voltage drop across that one is 1.27. If you add this range, this voltage drop also, you will get 2.82. If you add all the voltage drop, that equal to 5 volts. Or 5 minus all the voltage drops equal to 0. That is KVM.